towards this and did not doubt, he said, it shall remove. Your mountain will move tonight. And nothing, and nothing, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. You know the problem of people, they hear a message like this after hearing the message, instead of going back home and underlining all the words they've heard, all the verses who have read, and then saying it over and over and over again, nothing shall be impossible unto me. When I pray, nothing shall be impossible unto me. Whatever I desire, nothing shall be impossible unto me. And whatever I stand against, nothing shall be impossible unto me. Instead of saying that, they go back to the old song. It's not an easy road. We're walking to heaven. The problems are so many. And we pilgrims on the way, I pray I will not die by the way. I thought we settled that already here on Thursday. It is settled already. Change your prayer and change your outlook and change your confession. From now on, nothing shall be impossible unto me. I said nothing shall be impossible unto me. You have what you say. I said you will have what you say. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. And we're reading from verse 20. Matthew chapter 21. Reading from verse 20. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, that's all it requires. If ye have faith and doubt not, I will not doubt. How can you doubt? I will not doubt my God. I will not doubt Jesus my Savior. I will not doubt the Lord my Redeemer. I will not doubt my Healer. I will not doubt the word of God. Say it. I will not doubt the word of God. If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also, but also, if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Tell me. It shall be done. Tonight, it must be done. It shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive all things, all things, all things. Ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, how many things are possible? All things are possible to him that believeth. Lord, I believe. Mark chapter 11. In Mark chapter 11, reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 11. Verse 22, and Jesus answering says unto them, have faith in God, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whoso, whatsoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, He shall have whatsoever he says. Say something good tonight, you will have it. Say something positive tonight, you will have it. You wake up in the morning, say something good, something positive, something mighty, something miraculous. You will have it the rest of the day in Jesus' name. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them and ye shall have them Luke Luke chapter 17 Luke chapter 17 reading from verse 6 
In Luke chapter 17, reading from verse 6, And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say to this sycamore tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. It should obey you. When you tell evil spirit to move out tonight, it will obey you. Sickness to vanish away tonight, it will obey you. Mountains will move away your life. Uh, they, they brought somebody to one of these crusades and when she came to give testimony she said for the past four years I've been uh, on the bed I've, uh, if I wanted to you know pass urine I do it there if I wanted to pass uh, feces I do it there if I want to eat I do for four years I've been bedridden just there just there and now when we came out to that crusade and it was a great time. It was a wonderful time. Like it's going to be wonderful in your life tonight. Yeah. And then as we pray in the name, that only name that always works miracle, give me the name. Yeah. For years, for years, but reading, she rose up. As she rose up, then she came walking. If, if she didn't say so, you will not know that anything like that had happened to her before for the last four years. It's going to happen in your life. I said it's going to happen in your life. Mountains are going tonight. Somebody there I said mountains are going tonight. Problems are vanishing away tonight. Impossibilities are going to be possible tonight. And all the yokes are going to be broken tonight. My time has come. I said my time has come. I said my time has come. Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 6. Then he said and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Oh, Zerubbabel is gone. Who is having this one today? Who is claiming this one today? This is the word of the Lord unto unto you saying not by might not by power but by my spirit says the lord of hosts who art thou o great mountain who art thou o great problem who art thou o great impossibility who art thou o great yoke who art thou o great curse who art thou, O great incurable disease? Who art thou, O great mountain? Before, before, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain. That sin has to go tonight. That sin has to be removed tonight. He shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, crying, grace, grace unto it. Grace unto you. Mercy unto you, deliverance unto you, power unto you, answered prayer unto you. Where is that mountain? It will move. Where is that problem? It has to move. Everything has to vanish away tonight. It will happen in Jesus' name. Everything we ask tonight, everything you ask tonight, the Lord is going to do. And the Lord is going to confirm in your life, he will do it. I said he will do it. That's why it says to you tonight, ask and it shall be given you. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto, unto you. For everyone, how many people? Everyone, how many people? For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be open. The time has come for the doors of the mercy and the miracle of God to open to you tonight. Are you there? You must get it tonight. I said you must get it tonight. Rise up and tell the Lord, mountains are moving away, problems are moving away, 
sicknesses are moving away. When we call on the name of Jesus, all those impossibilities must become possible. Miracle tonight. Experiencing God's miracle working power. The miracle of healing. The miracle of deliverance. The miracle of breaking yokes. Tonight in your life. Tonight in your life. Tonight in your life. Miracle. Salvation. Restoration. Strength. Power. Authority. Is coming upon your life tonight. Where well, Jesus is, there's a miracle there. Jesus in your heart, miracle will be there. Jesus in your home, miracle will be there. Jesus coming to you tonight. And Jesus Christ in his might, in his power, in his authority, in that anointing that breaks the yoke, walking in your life tonight, as anywhere Jesus is, there must be miracle. You need salvation, miracle of salvation available, sanctification, miracle of sanctification available, healing, miracle of healing available, deliverance, miracle of deliverance available. Mention that name, miracle will follow. Pray in that name, miracle will follow. Believe in that name, miracle must follow. He'll heal your sickness. He'll deliver you from oppression. It will cancel the power of darkness from your life. Nightmares must vanish away. Something walking about in the body, all that must vanish away. Weakness. All the weakness of the body must vanish away. The hole in the heart, it will mend that hole tonight. I walk a little, I stand a little, I run a little, I'm tired, I'm weary. All the weariness and the, all the weaknesses must vanish away tonight. The dream is buried. Take you away the stone. Let the dream come alive again. Regrets in your life, sorrow in your life, impossibilities in your life. I cannot, I cannot take all that stone away tonight. Let a new life come. Let a new power come. A new anointing. Every yoke broken. Possibilities tonight. Possibilities tonight. Anything holding you down, that thing has to leave tonight. That thing has to go tonight. Oppression, it has to go tonight. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. You're sick, you'll be well. Jobless, claim it tonight. Possess it tonight. Ask, it shall be given unto you. See, can you all find? Knock, the door of blessing is open for you tonight. Be a partaker. Moses was a partaker, fearless. Courageous, Moses a partaker. Follow the same path, follow the same line, live in the same life. I say, I and the children 
whom the Lord has given me and for signs and for wonders in Israel. Rules, consecration, commitment, absolute surrender, total yieldedness. I will not go back. Entreat me not to leave you. I'll keep on following. Then the miracles will follow. Abraham calling those things would be not as though they were. Calling those things would be not as though they were. Be fully persuaded, giving glory to God, knowing that God cannot fail, knowing that His power cannot fail. Knowing that shall be a performance of those things the Lord has told you, it will be done. Caleb, but different like Caleb, single out yourself like Caleb. Don't flow with dead fish down the drain. Be courageous, be firm, turn not to the left or to the right, be uncompromising and say, I am well able. The others said they are not able, they said they could not stand, I can stand, I will stand. Like Lazarus, take away the stone. You have not come to the end of the road yet. There's a lot ahead of you. Resurrection power is coming. Power for renewal. Power for restoration. Restoration to the fullness of life. Believe. Like Elijah. Believe. Like Elijah. Believe. The servant came back and said, I saw nothing. Go back again and see. Came back again. I saw nothing. Go back again and see. You must see the miracle. You must see the power. It's there. It's there. It's there. Receive your own miracle. Receive the power. Receive the answer to your prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has answered your prayer. Your miracle has been granted unto you. Everything you ask, the Lord has given unto you. Raise up those hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you tonight because you are the great miracle worker. All things are possible with you. And as we come in the name of Jesus, all things are possible for every one of us in Jesus' name. Every prayer your people have prayed, everything they have uttered, 
grant unto them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray there will be forgiveness of sin. There will be salvation. There will be holiness of heart and life. And Lord, give strength to those who are weak in Jesus' name. And I pray that every sickness, every infirmity, I command, come out in Jesus' name. And every yoke is broken out of your life in Jesus' name. Every miracle you desired, every miracle you demanded, every miracle you prayed about, receive now in Jesus' name. Lord, let there be a confirmation in every life, a performance in every life, answers to every prayer. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. We know it is done. And we'll see the manifestation in every life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.